everybody, and welcome back to Novel Noms. This week we are going to do something just a little bit different, because sometimes you just don't have the time. You don't have time to read a book, you don't have the time to shop and prepare for this big fancy dinner or whatever. So I'm going to show you how to make something in your crock pot. It just takes a few hours in your crock pot, and by the time you come home from work, or you know when you're cleaning in your house, or whatever you're doing that's keeping you busy, We'll have this ready for you at the end of the day, and it's delicious, and it's simple, and it's whole foods, and you'll love it. From classics to children's books, you never know what she's gonna cook when Russian makes novel mom. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take three cans of chickpeas. So I take those rinsed chickpeas, and then I'm just gonna put them into my crock pot. I'm going to add to it about three Roma tomatoes chopped up, half of an onion, two cloves of garlic, and one pound of chopped about one inch piece chicken breast. You could use chicken thigh if you want. It's all depending on what cut you like and if you want it to have a little bit more fat content. And get all of that incorporated. I'm also going to add to this a few more things. Number one, Moroccan season. This, this is pretty much a Moroccan style dip. If you don't cook a lot and you're not used to knowing what flavors go together, what spices to use, I've, I've said it before, but spice blends are a great way to learn how to cook, but they're also a great time saver. These spices are actually a gift from my sister-in-law's mother, and she picked these up. I guess all of the, the TJ Maxx stores tend to have these. You can see it's like Victoria Taylor's. I have ginger citrus. I've got, she just bought me the Chipotle. So you can pick these up and they save a lot of time because they've got that, those beautiful, beautiful fresh herbs already mixed in the right ratio and you don't have to even think about it. So this one is Moroccan seasoning. If you can't find those, you can also just use some garlic powder, some, some paprika, um, some, and some cumin. So I'm just going to put a generous handful in there with my mixture. I'm going to put a nice sized pinch of probably about a teaspoon of sea salt and also probably about a teaspoon of black pepper. And my last ingredient, my very special ingredient, is peanut butter. I know, sounds weird, doesn't it? Let me tell you, it's delicious. But here's the thing, you can't put a lot in there because it will overwhelm it and all you'll taste is the peanut it gives it this creamy, nutty, amazing, and it goes great with those herbs and spices that we just put in there. So I'm just going to put a tablespoon of peanut butter in there. Now, if you taste it later and you think it needs a little more, you can add a little more at any time. But what that, that peanut butter is going to do is it's going to mix with all of those beautiful things. It's going to coat the chicken going to give it this warm, wonderful flavor. And the great thing about this too is that there's no potatoes or anything else that'll make it really heavy. It's just those beans and some vegetables and the chicken, which is great, a great summer. You could put this over rice. So I'm just going to give it a quick stir and kind of get everything melted together. So I'm just going to put this on high on my, in my crock pot for about five hours. And next time you see me, this will be done. All right, it is time for crock potness. So it's been cooking for about five hours, maybe a little bit longer. <clears throat> and it smells amazing. It's been just stewing all day. Tomatoes and the chicken and those Moroccan spices and onions, chickpeas. Look at that. It smells so good. And you can smell the peanut butter, but it's not the only thing you can smell. It mixes really well with those Moroccan flavors. Now oh, we can try it. Yummy. It's got just that hint of peanut, but you've got tomato spices with the garlic and the chicken, and it's just all came, to, came together to make this beautiful stew. And the chickpeas still have some you know, texture to them, they don't just disintegrate in the in the crock pot, which is fantastic. And this would be beautiful over some jasmine rice or just some regular brown rice would be great. And it's going to be this great hearty thing that I can take 
my lunches and enjoy a taste of Morocco. And I wanted to point out to you that this could be completely vegetarian. Leave out the chicken. Maybe put in some zucchini, chopped up zucchini, or yellow squash, or um, whatever other great vegetables you have just sitting around ready to put in there. You could put in some red pepper, kind of bulk it up to take the place of the meat. It's the spices and the peanut butter and all that other stuff we put in it that really gives it the flavor. Don't forget if you have a suggestion for the contest and you want me to pick your name for this month's Viewer's Choice Novel Noms, that you just need to send me a postcard or whatever to my post office box below with the name of a book and the type of meal or a specific dish that you think goes with it. And if I pick yours, I will cook it on Novel Noms and mention it and read your letter. And it'll be fabulous, just like my stew. Bye, everybody. See you next time. From classics to children's books, you never know what she's going to cook when Russian makes novels.